Welcome to Holy Communion. My name is Robert Mitchell. I am a deacon in Ecclesia Epignostica Church and Seminary. And the host consumed here has been consecrated by a bishop for this purpose. This is the body of Christ and must be given the sacred reverence to the Son of God. If you are a sacramental Christian, observe the guidance of your bishop as to whether and in what manner you may partake of Holy Communion at this time. Other baptized Christians should observe the guidance of their pastor. Persons not baptized in the Christian church should not partake of communion. If appropriate, pause the video now and bring together your bread and wine and join with me today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O Lord, Thou hast created us to be immortal, and made us to be an image of Thine own eternity. Yet often we forget the glory of our heritage, and wander from the path which leads to righteousness. But Thou, O Lord, hast made us for Thyself, and our hearts are ever restless till they fin find their rest in thee. Look with the eyes of thy love upon our manifold imperfections and pardon all our shortcomings, that we may be filled with the brightness of the everlasting light and become the unspotted mirror of thy power and the image of thy goodness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and sanctify us. The Lord in his loving kindness look down upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord absolve us from all our sins and grant us the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Arise, Jerusalem, and look to the east, and see your children gathered from the rising to the setting of the sun. May the splendor of your majesty, O Lord, we pray, shed its light upon our hearts, that we may pass through the shadows of this world and reach the brightness of our eternal home. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds over the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about, they all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba, shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your 
judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit. Namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, we saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. Alleluia, alleluia. Cleanse my heart and my lips, Almighty God, that I may worthily proclaim thy holy gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him, assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for this, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least upon the rulers of Judah. Since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out 
And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Recite with me now the Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Catholic Church, in the communion of saints, in the forgiveness of sins, in the resurrection of the body, and in life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The brightness of God illumined the holy city Jerusalem, and the nations will walk by its light. Except we pray, Lord, our offerings in honor of the appearing of your only begotten Son and the first, first fruits of the nations, that you that your that your praise may be rendered and eternal salvation be ours through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O thou, who in the wonderful sacrament of the altar has left us a living memorial of thine eternal sacrifice, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mystery of thy body and blood, that we may ever perceive within ourselves the power of thine indwelling life, and thus, by the glad pouring out of our lives in sacrifice, 
may know ourselves to be one with thee and through thee with all that lives, who livest and reignest with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Ye that desire to partake of the body of the Lord, draw nigh and receive this most holy sacrament. the body of Christ. blood of Christ. Under the veil of earthly things, now have we communion with Lord Jesus Christ. Soon with open face shall we behold him, and rejoicing in his glory be made like unto him. Then shall his true disciples be brought by him with exceeding joy before the presence of his Father's glory. Pray with me now, brothers and sisters. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of His Son, Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now go in peace, glorifying God by our lives.